Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we need to figure out what we're gonna do with all of these eggs. I have eggs piling up on my counter. If you're a chicken owner, you know that we get a lot of eggs. So, you know, in the, in the springtime, it's feast. In the wintertime, it's famine. I actually did that walk of shame and I had to buy eggs in the winter. It wasn't fun because I'm feeding these little dinosaurs and we weren't getting enough eggs. So now they're piling up on the counter and I have to do something. The girls, they are busy. This is little Miss Henrietta. She's our mother hen. I have three boxes up here. Looks like we've got some eggs. We've got some eggs. We'll add this to our collection. Hello, girls. Okay, so what are we gonna do with these eggs? Today, I bought some stuff. We're gonna do freezer burritos. We're gonna um, fry up some uh, pork sausage that I picked up at the farm. And probably you start with about a dozen eggs, scramble those up. I'm hoping we use maybe two dozen because we need to use up a lot of eggs. Also, I have some shredded cheese. Mike, he likes onion. And Hunter, he's not eating dairy, so I'll use some vegan cheese for his. So um, before I do anything, I wanna get the sauce Actually, going. the first thing I wanna do are these eggs. We save all of our eggs, we put them in this bowl. The parchment paper keeps the eggs from sticking to the bottom of the bowl. And I have my oven on, I just stuck it on to 200. I'll throw them on a cookie sheet, and then we'll toss them in the oven and crush them up, and we feed them back to the girls. I'm just gonna let my pan heat up a little bit while my pan is heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some onion. Let this pan heat up. I don't need a lot of onion. The boys, they don't like it. Mike likes onion. Okay, so while we're waiting on our sausage and onions, I figure I'd show you our ingredients over here. I like to buy these from Costco. I can buy 30 of them. I just toss them in the freezer. We've got our eggs. Over here, I like to buy these big bags of cheddar from Aldi. This is the vegan cheddar from Aldi. Hunter likes, he prefers this one over the Vio Life. The Vio Life is made with coconut and he, you can really taste that. So these ones are a good one. So I'm gonna get the eggs scrambled up. I've got a new bowl here with the parchment paper for our shells. Okay, I've got my pan heating here for the eggs. And I know there's lots of different methods in scrambling eggs. Some people add water, some people add milk. I don't add anything, but I beat it, I beat a lot of air into it, and that seems to make them fluffy. So there's a lot of air bubbles. Scramble them up. There's just nothing like farm fresh eggs. They're always so orange. They get a lot they get a lot deeper in color in the summer because they're foraging for more bugs, grasses, clover. In the wintertime, they just mostly rely on scraps and everything off of their feed. So sausages frying it up nicely. Is 
the onions are about done. Okay, so I've got the eggs on and I've got the sausage going. The onions are done. And I just wanted to make mention real quick about water glassing. Water glassing is an old timey preservation method for your eggs. And there, it says that it can be preserved for up to two years. I have looked at a lot of blogs. So you can Google water glassing and you'll come up with two, three, four dozen different blogs, you know, homesteading and different things. But if you Google FDA or the USDA, it'll actually give you some scientific research on water glassing. I don't know if water glassing is 100% safe. I'm not a an expert in this area. I do have some glass, some eggs down in my basement that are in a dark area. And I did go to the thrift store. I buy all of my jars from the thrift store, two to four dollars. You do not have to spend a lot of money. Salvation Army, Goodwill, there you you can usually find them. But I. I am going to do show you some water glassing today. I don't think I'm going to do any more after today. I have maybe eight to I'm ten. I'm just not sure so I would hang on to those eggs for up to two years, six to nine months. You know, get you through the winter. There are talks about how the calcium hydroxide, the pickling lime, it can hold botulism. And also, a backyard chicken owner, we don't bleach our eggs, and so we have to be extra careful with salmonella. When you pick your eggs for your water glassing, you want to make sure that those eggs, they have no poo on them, and an egg, it's sealed up with, with something called a bloom. And the bloom, it's a protective coating, and it keeps um, the bacteria out of there, so you can't wash those eggs either. Those eggs have to be um, no poop on them and with the, with the bloom intact. So, like I said, I'm not an expert on this. May come up with your own... Um, research, do your own research, and see if this preservation method is good. Looks for like you. our sausage is just about done. Our eggs are done. I do my eggs um, up to a point where they're still a little bit wet so they don't get too dried out. Our onions are done. So, just a minute, we're going to start assembling these burritos. I have an assembly line set up here. We start with the tortilla, and then we put on some egg, sausage cheese and then for Mike I do put um, some onion in his. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all rolled up. Okay, here's my 12 burritos all rolled up. If you're not careful and you fill them a little bit too full, they will break on you. I usually do 24. Today I'm only up to doing 12. We did use up a dozen eggs and I use this plastic wrap. It's a little tedious, but it's good to be able to just grab them and go. Okay, we've got two bags for the freezer. That's all done. Now I need to get the eggs out. Don't mind my really dirty oven. I turned it off and we'll wait for these to cool and then we'll crush them up. Another great preservation method for your eggs are cracking them, scrambling them, and then you can dump them in muffin tins. In the large muffin tins, I'm going to put two eggs. In the smaller, I'll just do one in case the recipe just calls for one egg. And then we'll pop them in the freezer when we can store them in our freezer bags. Our little egg bowl is growing. I think we're up to three dozen eggs now. So right here I have two dozen eggs. Right here, like I said, are my double eggs. And these are my singles for recipes. I'm gonna pop them in the freezer. Oh, I'm getting hot. My face is nice and red. We're gonna go through the steps to water glassing now. Like I said, do your own research. Make up your own mind whether or not you feel they're safe for your family. 
I'm going to go ahead and try them after six months to see how we like them. Hopefully, I'll be able to have some in, you know, December, January to hold us over until like next March. So, let's get into it. And it's not those zucchini bread. Let's see. Okay. Water glassing. So, water glassing. We need calcium hydroxide pickling lime. If you don't know what that is, it's very easy to find. It's usually with the canning stuff. We need a scale. You have to measure out your pickling lime. You need exactly one ounce to one liter, which is a quart. I like to use jug water because I have well water and we have a lot of minerals and I don't know if that will interact. Also, your, all your eggs have to be really, really clean like I mentioned before. Okay, so let's measure out our lime. Here's my jar I picked up for three whole dollars. I think it's a sun tea jar. I got it at the Salvation Army. It's awesome. So I have my little bowl. I, I teared it out. We're going to start with one ounce. A lot of people say wear gloves, wear a mask when working with this. You can do what you want. Okay, we've got one ounce. Quart of water. really dusty. Yes, I'm using my beater thing. Both of my whisks are dirty. I'm going to put down inside my cleanest eggs. I already went through and I sorted and I found my cleanest eggs. You really want them nose down. It's kind of hard to do the ones on the bottom. So this tells me that I'm gonna to have to mix up another quart with one more ounce of pickle. Okay, there it is. I made a huge mess. Um, 28 eggs. That calcium line, that hydroxide, that will settle. So it will become clear. Keep an eye on it. Always keep a lid on it. Keep it in a dark place. Label it so you know exactly. I'm really bad at labeling things, but if you label it, you'll know exactly how much time that you've got okay on. here are my eggs i have them downstairs in my basement because it's cooler down here 
We don't have air. The basement tends to stay pretty cool. So these are the eggs I've done. You can see how the lime has really, really settled on these. And it is normal for them to kind of create like um, it's almost, it's a weird kind of coating on top. It seals the top. And here's the eggs that we just did. That lime is settling. In about six months, we'll try these out and see how they are. I'm not going to do any more. I'd say I probably have 11, 12, 13 dozen down here. While we're down here, I just wanted to give a quick update to my plants. You can't see them too well because of the light. But we've got some chicory, some calendula. It looks like our German chamomile popped up. Our pickling cucumbers popped up. That's ex so exciting. Our onions are doing really well. All the cucumbers are doing well. And these are... I just put them in water. They, they need a little bit of water. But these are our... Um, Shoot, what are these? Brandywine. The brandywine tomatoes. Aromas are starting to look pretty good. We've lost a couple. I think we lost one jalapeno, but um, they're starting to leaf out. So I'm pretty excited. Look at that aroma back there. Look at those. Yay. This is what we started with, our eggshells. See how easy that is? They crushed up really, really easy. Excellent calcium, free calcium for the girls. If you give them oyster shells, you will notice, I have an egg here I can show you. If they're getting this, if you ever get an egg that has this, they're not bugs. It's just extra calcium. It won't harm you. It's a really, really hard shell. I will crush this all up and take the bowl out and give it to the girls. They're going to love it. I use my little mallet. It works really well. Crushes them up. I don't want them real, real small, but I want smaller pieces I can kind of eat like dirt and gravel. Chickens, they don't have stomachs. They have something called a crop. And so when they eat, they have to eat little grit, little stones, and it helps to kind of grind up what's sitting there in their crop. So I like to make these smaller pieces easier for them to eat. I mean, chickens will eat anything. They'll eat nails. I, I had chased my chickens with full um, mice in their mouths, dead mice, nasty, and they'll just go up and swallow it. And it just, ugh. I've seen them eat um, half-eaten frogs. Chickens are really gross. They're very food motivated. If You know a chicken's not feeling well if they're not eating. So we're going to take these out and give them to the girls. I'll think it's a snack. Yeah, I have their eggshells and they think it's a, I have a treat. Let's see if they'll let me in here. They're going to crowd the way. Hey, let me in. Let me in. What's this? What's this? Yummy! Here's the single eggs that we cracked into the muffin tins. You have to work really, really fast. Otherwise, they start to melt on you. The two eggs are still freezing, so we're going to give them another half hour. So now I get to clean the kitchen. <laughs> what a mess. But that's okay. We got a lot done. We got a lot done, and I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your patience. Starting up a YouTube channel, it's not easy. There's a big learning curve for the editing. There's, a, you know, every every time I do some, I do I do a vi another video. I feel like I've accomplished one more thing. So, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. If there's something that you'd like to see, we can learn together. Because, like I said in my very first couple videos we're just kind of going along and um we're learning we'll learn together so you have a great afternoon it feels like it's warming up here in southeast michigan anyway i'll see you next time